Hi guys, welcome to the next video of Czech My 360 City. My name is Luigi Martelli and here we are in the Olympic Park in Budapest where you can see all the Hungarians Olympic winners of uh, Hungary. I would like to start uh, with my aunt. She won in 1964 Tokyo in fencing. Here she is, Sákovics de Lidia. So I'm so proud. Uh, thanks for being uh, this selfish at the beginning. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our video channel and you can look around in 360 degrees. We will take a short walk till the parliament here from the Olympic Park. I hope you will enjoy it. Let's uh, talk a few sentences about uh, Hungary in the Olympics. Imagine that I must get out here. Imagine that altogether Hungary has 498 medals in the Olympics, in the history of the modern Olympics. So I hope that uh, in 2021, Tokyo, we will have the 500th medal. We have almost 200 gold medals, of course, also. And uh, oh, here we are at the beautiful Danube River Bank, which is also beautiful. So if we count and check the popularity or the population of uh, the nations, Hungary is on the first place. We are most successful in fencing, in swimming, uh, in wrestling, gymnastics and of course kayak canoe. So we are pretty famous in sports. As we walk along the Danube River, there on the right side, on the hill you can see Matthias Church and uh, a bit farer, the Buddha Castle. We will check it in the near future with Check My 360 City. Behind me, you can see the Margit Bridge and the entrance of Margit Island, which are also beautiful and great. And now, uh, on the right, you can see the statue of Istvan Bibo. He was a very important politician in the 1956 uh, revolution. He was a minister. And now we're about to reach Kossuth Square, which is the main part, the most important part of uh, today's tour. I hope you will like it because this uh, park was uh, completely renewed a few years ago in 2014 so here everything is pretty new we will show you in a few minutes and uh, in front of us of course i hope you know this is the house of the parliament which is the biggest building in hungary beautiful on the top it's uh, 96 meters tall 96 is an important date or uh, number in our history because uh, Hungarians occupied the Carpathian Basin in 896 this is the reason it's 96 meters tall like the St. Stephen's Cathedral we will see and visit that soon this is just the northern side of the parliament. <laughs> this is just small. We will see the biggest and bigger part soon. On the left here, you can see the statue of Istvan Count Tisza. He was a prime minister in Hungary. We can see him here. But his original statue was harmed during the Second World War. So it's a reconstructed statue. They created it 
in 2014. This Prime Minister was assassinated in 1918, but he is very important in our history. This is the entrance here to the visitor center of uh, the parliament, which is temporarily closed due to the pandemic. So now we can't get in, but uh, if you can, you have to because uh, it uh, gives great details from the parliament. It has, it's about 45 minutes long and it costs about 20 euros. If we speak about the parliament, the style is Gothic Revival and it's made uh, by the architect called Imre Steindl. Uh, the construction took place for more than 15 years. They started it in 1895, exactly 100 years before my birth. And uh, the construction uh, finished in 1902 but uh, the construction finished totally uh, just two years later. They used, imagine, 40 million bricks and more than 100,000 people were involved in the construction of the beautiful Hungarian parliament. And now we will reach the statue of uh, Lajos Kossuth. He is the name giver of uh, this square. He was the leader of the revolution against uh, the Habsburg, Habsburgs in 1848-1849. Kossuth is in the middle, of course. This is also a reconstructed statue. When Kossuth died in immigration in 1894, uh, Hungarians wanted to make him a statue and uh, Janos Horvai was the sculptor. He made this beautiful statue. But uh, during the Soviet era, they thought that uh, Kossuth is too depressing. As we can see, he's not happy, it's true. So they replaced it with a happier Kossuth. So this is a copy of the original one, which was also erected in uh, 2014 when the square was reconstructed. I think it's so nice. It was made more than uh, in eight months by 40 people. It's made of limestone. And now we can see the beautiful parliament. I think you can see it's much bigger now from this angle. It's perfectly symmetric. This is the northern side. There are two chambers inside. The two chambers are used for the two houses of parliament, but uh, nowadays we have just one chamber. We have around 100 representatives who work here. The dome is Renaissance Revival style. You can see it's very silent now. It used to be just a big car park a few years ago. When I would like to mention you that uh, when Imre Steindl won the possibility to make the parliament, there was a competition and Imre Steindl was the first to create the parliament, but uh, that building was the second and that on the right was the third. The building on the left is the Museum of Ethnography, which will soon move to near to Hero Square. And on the right, uh, this is the Ministry of uh, Agriculture. Okay, and if we turn around, I think we will take a glimpse of the size <laughs> of the Parliament. There are more than 200 statues inside, 
just the red carpet is more than three kilometers long, imagine. And here, uh, this flag holder is 33 meters tall. So imagine that if it's 33 meters long, how big <laughs> this building is behind it. It's really, really beautiful. I hope you can, you can enjoy the sight with our 360 view. Behind us, you can see tram number two, which is a great way to reach Parliament because that tram line goes near the Danube and uh, it has the most beautiful view ever. There was a competition and it won. So I think it's pretty amazing. If you look that way, that one is the equestrian statue of uh, Ferenc Rákóczi II. He was also a very important leader, but he lived in the 18th century. This is the only original statue from the beginning. I'm so proud because my dad used to work here in this building. He was the director of the live broadcasts for many years, so I was that lucky. I've been in this uh, building many times, so I know that the inside is such beautiful as uh, the outside. Uh, here, meanwhile I tell you my personal stories, this is uh, the uh, memorial of the 1956 revolution. So imagine that uh, inside it's full with fresh ghost statues, red carpets, and of course, under the dome, there's a dome I show you, under the dome you can find the holy crown and the other attributes of a king. It's so beautiful. The crown used to be in the National Museum, but uh, the government decided that it has better place here, and I totally agree with them. There, where I point to, there's the entrance of uh, metro line number two. So if you don't like to use a tram, you can always use the metro, which is the fastest way, for example, to cross the Danube. Okay, so it took at least, I don't know, five minutes just to go to the other side of the building. This is the south entrance. And there's another equestrian statue there. It's the statue of uh, Yula Andrashi, who is the name giver of Andrashi's Avenue, Andrashi Street, which we have already seen. And we are much closer to Matthias Church on the Buddha side, near the Buddha Hill. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because you can check my 360 city all the time if you like we have many videos now guided and just walking tours also look at these beautiful buildings and we will reach the Danube soon and uh, I would like to show you my favorite statue here the statue who is just sitting near the Danube. We will reach him. He is a famous poet, the statue of a famous poet, Attila József. He lived at the beginning of the 20th century. He had a very short life because he committed suicide. He is one of the most important poets of uh, the Hungarian literature and one of the best poems he ever he had ever written was called Odunana at the Danube. So this is the reason he still stares the Danube, the water. I think it's really great. So here is he. And here's the Danube. 
and the best part of the day of the parliament that it has windows facing to the water so we can take a walk here before the building it's almost 300 meters long but it's worth taking a round around it I just crossed the street and I show you a little from the water angle I think you deserve to check it but I suggest you to come and visit Hungary because it's a real great thing to take a walk here and, and uh, feel the history because all of these buildings are full of uh, history this will never change to, to green I'm so sad about this please I want to go out oh yeah I can it's great thanks so guys yo, there are also a way to travel with ship Guys, uh, I don't switch off the camera, I just take a walk for the parliament, but I say goodbye to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye bye!